Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do February readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, this, these are general readings. If they resonate with you, that's great. If they don't, maybe next time. And a big thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if you would like a reading with me, all the info will be in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. I'm glad you're here. And make sure you hit the, uh, the little bell icon there uh, to subscribe. That, that way you get all the latest who's what and what I put out. <laughs> um, also, every Wednesday I go live. So come join me and my great peeps at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to do a look-in on all the Zodiac signs as well as doing a random reading. So 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Wednesday. Come be a part of it. Okay. This reading is going to be for Gemini. Let's see, it's popping with you in February 2021. Gems, if you've been waiting for something for a long time, I think your wait is over. Hmm. Let's get into this. Bottom of the deck. Whoa. Gemmies. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Now, here is the universe giving you this opportunity, whether you take it or not, for the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. Money? Of course. Um... It could be a new way of making money, new side hustle, a raise. But gems, it's also the things that money can't buy. Love, respect, loyalty, honesty. Because without those things, you have nothing. So opportunity is coming, gems. Maybe it's long overdue. <laughs> so let's get it. We're going to start off with the Queen of Cups. Now, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who has these properties. She has a poker face. And what I mean by that is that she could be dying inside. She would never give you the satisfaction of knowing that. She comes off even keel, calm, cool, collected. She's a great, you know, communicator in matters of the heart. But she's also very intuitive. And what's crossing to help or hinder? You get the Nine of Cups. This is a wish being granted here, Gems. I'll take a Nine if I can't get that Ten. <laughs> the Ten would be, you know, that fairy tale ending, the riding unicorns. Nines are pretty close. Of emotional fulfillment. So, Gems. Maybe you do have that poker face going on. Maybe you do have something... You know, going on inside you, in your mind. But you don't let him see it. You play it very well. Maybe you know that you see this opportunity is coming. You don't want to get too excited. <laughs> For some. But in your foundation here, Jemmys, you've got the Six of Swords. And this is moving away to Kama Waters. Leaving something behind. And going to something better. And that being in your foundation here. Maybe you had to leave something behind. So you can have something better. Oh, wow. Gems. You know I'm nosy. I get a look. You've got the five of pentacles. This is feeling alone. Abandoned. Could be a financial pinch. Outcast is shunned, blocked, the outside looking in. You get truth here, too. An opportunity to either hear it, speak it, know it. 
Wow. Talk about a turnaround. Jim, this this feeling of loss is going to change. I think that episode is on its way out. It's going to change. And maybe that's why you have to poke a face, you know. Maybe there is some sort of financial trouble. Who doesn't have that these, these days? But you play it well. And you know you're leaving that behind. You wished for it. The universe heard you, Gems. What's crowning your reading here is that you have the Two of Swords. Now, this is kind of like the white elephant in the room. You know it's there. Everybody else knows it's there. But nobody wants to say, hey, there's a white elephant in the room. This is um, someone that could be avoiding a certain topic. Either they don't want to see the truth. Want to stay blind to the truth. They don't want to address it. Now, Jemmy's, it could be your energy that, you know, maybe there is something that you didn't want to give attention to or address. And remember, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you. Friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. Any and all. But this time, it's going to get addressed. You know, Gems, maybe you're the one. Let's cut the guts. To stay even keeled. Keep those emotions. You know. Tempered. Because when you do. It gets granted to you. Make them see. Make them see gems. Now's the time to maybe address something. Because in your recent past. You have the knight of pentacles. Now he's the slowest one out of all of them. But. He never has to go back to see if he did anything right. You know, like, don't correct er errors. Let me get that out. He did it right the first time. That's why he's slow. He's particular. But all his eyes, eyes are dotted, all his T's are crossed. It's done right. And yes, he brings this valuable thing in. Whether it is, you know, love, respect, loyalty, and honesty, or the coin. Maybe before in the past, it's been a long time. It's been daunting. But your payoff is coming, Gems. Because going into your future, you've got the Libra card of justice. Now here is something getting rectified, something being justified, something being made fair. Gems, it sways your way. Whether it's in the judicial system or if it's karmic. Either or, justice is going to get served. Something's going to be made fair. It's going to be made right. And how this whole situation sees you, wow. They see you as death. And I mean that in a good way. The Scorpio card of death doesn't have to be a physical death. Okay, it could be the old way of doing things, the old way of thinking, an old thought process. You know, a habit gone. Something serves its purpose. It serves you no longer. So death comes in and transforms the situation. It's like that little green, fat little caterpillar that goes into a cocoon and is forever a butterfly. Can never go back to being a caterpillar. Death is a cocoon. It changes. And it changes forever. Something's ran its course. They're looking at you. Like you're changing it. You're transforming something here, Gems. And an old way of doing things doesn't serve anymore. Wow. Gems, that's powerful. Because when you take a situation, you don't like it, you choose to change it. Some people walk away. And if you can't walk away from it or get away from it, you're sure as heck not turning a blind eye to it anymore. Those days are done. 
gems i make i have the feeling that you're making someone else see who didn't want to address something because you're changing it and in your environment you have another ace you have the ace of wands now here's the universe again giving you this opportunity to change it wands are a creative endeavor they're about action they're about you know motion this is getting the ball rolling putting something into motion or action why because you are changing it i want to tell you that things aren't going to go back the way that they were before because you don't live there and in order to change things you've gone to a lot of links gems But something's getting made right. Karmically. In the court system. However. You changed it, Gems. And in your hopes and in your fears. You get the Nine of Wands. Now here's that warrior spirit. Nine Wands. Nine's being close to a ten. This person's been in the battle. They're tired. They're banged up. But they don't give up. The one rod in her hand is the one she's taken down all the way to the end, Gems. And she starts something, she finishes it. Until it's dead. Until it's done. Definitely could be a hope. Gems, you came this far. You didn't come this far just to come this far. You are bringing transformation with you. And you're stuck in there. And you won't leave until it's changed. That's your warrior spirit. And because you have this, that you're going to bring change. It's just waiting for that opportunity and getting that opportunity. Wow, gems. Very powerful cards that you have. Especially death. Especially justice. And the opportunity to make something right or make something just. And not just fair for you, but fair for the other party involved. Whether it's friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, however it applies. You might have waited a long time for this. You're going to get it. You'll get your opportunity. You'll get your shot. <laughs> Universe is bringing those opportunities to you. So you will not feel that. I witness that. <laughs> Look at this. It's the third, third ace. What's going on here? <laughs> Gems, your outcome card. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Now here's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. She's well grounded. No flights of fancy, no sugarcoating anything. She sees things for how they really are. She's a realist. She's scheduled. She's on time. She's holding the coin. Gems, in order to bring change, the order to change something into what you want it to change into. Whatever you want to morph into. Stay grounded. Keep your eyes on the prize. No flights of fancy here, Gems. There's no room for it. The more grounded, the more calm, the more you temper those emotions. Because for some of you, Gemini, you probably just want to go right off the hook. You can pull it off. That poker face. That's a person that can't be read. Keep it cool. Keep it calm. You're making something right. You're making it just. You're also changing it forever, Gems. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays to come join me and my crew. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So until then, take care.